boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know, sometimes when it rains and pours, sometimes when news gets good, it gets going. Good morning, folks. Coach Simmons here. Do me a favor. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> this one. This is going to take speculation up to a whole nother level. I'm going to give credit to this one to uh, K- Kyle T. Mosley. The link will be in the description below. Jerry Rice considering being a head coach. Wow. So this, so this article came out today. And basically, imagine a sunny, cool afternoon in the Cathedral of College Football in Jackson, Mississippi. A site where many HBCU football classes are taking place. Patrolling one sideline be the leader of the newly crowned Kings of the SWAT, Hall of Famer Deion Sanders, at one time a teammate, adversary, and foe is standing on the other sideline. None other than the GOAT, Jerry Rice. Man. So, according to the article, Jerry Rice had a candid chat and was asked, has he contemplated being a head coach? Jerry Rice stated, not until Deion Sanders with Jackson State. Because I felt like I played the game such a long time, was so totally committed. I put everything into my career that I didn't have anything left. Because as a coach, you really don't have a life. I mean, coaching is hard, man. It takes the majority of your time, but yeah, it takes total commitment. You gotta be all in. So it started to cross my mind just a little bit now. State of Jerry Rice. <sighs> Let's just play devil's advocate here. We know if Jerry Rice does become a coach, especially in the HBCU landscape, there's only one place he can do it. Jerry Rice said on, on recruiting, the importance isn't lost on Rice that he needs. As, as he noted that he needs at his alma mater, Mississippi Valley State. Jerry Rice says, but you know you gotta get certain recruits. It's important to get those top recruits in there that can put you, that you can put into your program, to make your program so much better. So I think they're gonna get better because what's happening at Jackson State University. The current crop of NFL players and coaches flocking to HBCU has impacted college football. And the highly talented recruits and transfer portal student athletes are taking notice. Not many can deny playing for Deion Sanders at Jackson State, Eddie George at Tennessee State, Hugh Jackson at Grambling State, Eddie Robinson Jr. at Alabama State, Bubba McDowell at Prairie View A&M, Tyrone Wheatley at Morgan State, or Robert Massey at Winston-Salem State wouldn't positively help a player in NFL aspirations. The same way Dion, sorry, Coach Prime, attracts cornerbacks will be the same way Jerry Rice would pack receivers. Because let's be honest, one of the reasons why the cornerbacks are going to Jackson State is because there is nothing no other school can teach you. There is nothing that LSU can say, we'll teach you how to be a good cornerback. He's Deion Sanders. There's nothing the Florida State can say about, we'll teach you how to be a good cornerback. He's Deion Sanders. There is nobody, NFL or college football, that can say, hey, I can get you the work ethic on how to maximize your talent to be a receiver, unlike Jerry Rice. Now, the only problem is, the only school that Jerry Rice not can, but should go to, will be Valley. 
and the Valley has a good coach. So what I'm thinking is, just by Jerry Rice mentioning his aspirations or inclinations of being a head coach, it's going to do something very weird in Valley. We know Coach Dancy will motivate his players. But now you put an extra chip on Coach Dancy's shoulders? This may be the best best year Valley have ever had since Jerry Rice left. Now, if Valley does go three and seven again, does Jerry come in? Does Jerry come in and take over? Or does Jerry Rice come in as a offensive coordinator? That would be the key. If Valley can have Coach Dancy as a head coach and Jerry Rice on that staff as a coordinator in his stadium, Jackson will have be in a world of trouble. Because there is nobody, and I mean there is nobody, who outworked Jerry Rice. This man is famous for winning the Super Bowl and the very next day running heels training for the next season. Jerry Rice was one of those players where quarterbacks were always, is it the quarterback or is it a receiver? Well, Jerry was so good, he had that same question with Montana and Steve Young. Because Jerry Rice elevated them both. Imagine if a top 300 receiver goes to Valley. <sighs> Links below. Tell me what you think. Is Jerry Rice and Valley more impactful as a head coach? or an assistant coach running the offense, training the receivers. It's Coach Simmons. Man, <laughs> it's going to be a good year. The swag. <laughs>